Hey guys, it's Buddy here from Creator Studios, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the TiVo Tornado 3D printer. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so this is the third time I've created this video. The first time, the footage was not great, it was on a crappy video. The second time, I was ready to upload the video and then the video got deleted permanently on my computer and there was no way to get it back so now this is the third time making this video hopefully third time's the charm but I did promise Chris Leonardo an unboxing video for this printer but the first video that had the unboxing on it so I did not get to the unboxing video on this video but hopefully you guys do like this video um, this is again the third try so hopefully it will work and these are all the prints so far that I've printed on this printer um, I've actually printed actually a couple more but these are mostly the bigger prints and this printer is actually a pretty great printer I've had it for about two weeks now and it's been treating me right after I got it working and after I installed the TL smoothers. TL smoothers are what you plug in the wires from the stepper motors and that smooths the stepper motors. So the reason why you need TL smoothers for this TiVo Tornado is one common thing with all the TiVo 3D printers, salmon skin. Now salmon skin has this artifact that it shows like the layers. It's, um, I'll show you guys an example later but it's like this layer resolution that's kind of really weird on some rounder prints but after installing those tail smoothers that I bought off of Amazon everything's been great these um, rockets up here turn on amazing even though they were on vase mode I'm not sure if on vase mode you can get salmon skin but since I installed those even on my other round prints there has been no salmon skin so most people say that tail smoothers don't really help on this board you'll have to get a new board now that was not the problem with me those tail smoothers were about 17 bucks and they helped completely now this is the 2017 model that TiVo has out but uh, they are going to have a huge sale and that is to get rid of all the 2017 models and bring into the 2018 models now in the description below there will be a $30 off link and code for getting this TiVo Tornado that TiVo has given me a special code to give to you guys to get $30 off so that will be down in the description and uh, one person I really want to thank for helping me with a lot of this is Yoder. He has helped me so much with this printer. He helped me put a new Marlin firmware onto this printer and there was a lot of struggle with that but we got it to work and everything's been working since then he's helped me with ups and downs filament clicking all that so I will have a link down in the description to his channel where he does a lot of Marlin firmware and stuff with his printers and a lot of 3d printing videos there was one problem with this printer when I first got it so I was printing smaller prints like the Benchy and um, my maker coin those worked fine they were in the middle of the build plate and then I decided to print this really big hand now this hand printed in uh, separate pieces all these were separate so these two were next to each other the fingers were lined up right next to each other and it uh, is scaled up completely to fit on this entire bed and so when I first tried to print this it did not work whatsoever so I realized that the bed that I got was kind of warped and there was no way to fix it. I couldn't figure out what to fix it. I tried to level the bed to have it a little um, higher on the outside, but it was just different from the outside corners to the inside. But then I added a piece of acrylic or plexi or uh, polycarbonate. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm pretty sure it is one of those. Um, I also have this on my TiVo Tarantula over here, but it has worked great since I put it on there. So I measured the size. This is a complete size of the bed, not just 12 by 12, which most people do with glass or mirror tile to put it in just the middle. This is a complete size of the bed, and then I just drilled some holes in the four corners, and then I put the screws through it. And it's been working great since. I actually, in one of my videos, I told you guys that I kind of super glued the corners or the 
uh, sides here so that they weren't um, higher in the middle because of the problem. But it works great now and I've been printing on it ever since. So with a glass bed sometimes or an acrylic bed, it doesn't stick all the time so there's a little bit of warping. So I do use green tape as you guys can kind of see on here. Um, I do not have any blue tape so I just use green tape. Works great. It's super cheap and um, it's an easy fix for a little bit of warping. Now there was only about one, I believe, one upgrade I printed for this printer and that was this spool holder back here. This spool holder file comes on the TiVo Tornado SD card with the printer and that was, I believe, the first print I printed. Came out great, amazing, and that, that actual spool holder is over here on my TiVo Tornado. You guys can't see it, but it was um, one that I printed in my purple PLA review. So then I printed another one after I got everything working and printing correctly after the two days that it wasn't working. And so there's a different purple one back there. But that spool holder is actually pretty nice. It gets in the way a little bit, but overall it's a pretty good spool holder. And these two rockets, as you guys can see here, they have the height of almost the entire printer. I printed two of them and they both glow in the dark. They are spiral vase mode and they look pretty nice actually. There's no artifacts on them. It is uh, actually pretty strong, but as you could hear, uh, it broke because I did drop it on some hard floor at school when I went to go show my teachers. But it is actually pretty cool. I really like this rocket. And all of these files that I printed will be in the description below. So you guys can go check those out if you want to print any of these. But this is scaled up, um, I believe it's 300% or however big it could go until it wouldn't fit in the, on the printer bed. So it is as high as it can go, scaled up a lot. Actually, the, first, the original file is probably about this tall. So I really wanted to try, try a big print, and it worked great. I printed two, and I really like them. One print I printed last night was the Maker's Muse uh, Easter egg. Now, this Easter egg is supposed to move. As you can see, there's three layers it should be able to move. And as you can see, there's two different colors here. Now, I ran out of the Unico Fills Rainbow Silk PLA filament, so then I had to pause the print and insert the gold silk filament. And uh, as you can see here, there's a big layer separation, and then it actually cracked when I tried to separate the three parts. So when I paused the print, it, and then I resumed it, it was a little higher than expected. So what I actually upgraded with the Marlin on the firmware is Baby Steps. And now Baby Steps helped me a lot with this. So Baby Steps is when you double click your uh, little button down there and then you can move the Z axis up and down um, manually with the knob instead of having to hand twist it like I do on my TiVo Tarantula. So that got me close closer to the actual top of this uh, rainbow filament and then so I could print as close as I could with the gold and it still didn't uh, fuse to it so that was one problem with pausing the print and changing the filament. I did see there was a change filament um, section on the firmware that I uploaded and I didn't try that. I probably should have but I didn't. Um, but Baby Steps also helps with again if your bed is not level or it is higher in the middle, you can use baby steps to um, lift up your Z axis a little bit more to have a nice layer for just the closer inside in the middle of the build plate. The first layer was actually pretty hard to get on this printer. This printer actually helped me get the perfect first layer on all of my TiVo printers. Now they all have perfect uh, first layers. Because of the problem having the nozzle too close to the bed or too far away, I finally got it to the perfect distance. It's a nice gap where you can see the filament laying down perfectly in a nice thick line. Not too thick, not too thin. Sometimes I do have to um, turn up the flow of the filament and then turn it down sometimes. But overall, I've get, been getting the perfect first layer and I'm really happy to get a nice first layer because after getting a first layer, you most likely have a perfect print. So one thing I really like about this printer is that it is a completely solid printer. There is 
barely any wiggle in it, but sometimes uh, if the jerk or acceleration is way too high on this printer, which it was in the beginning for me, it will shake your entire table. Now this table is not the sturdiest table. It is very shaky with this printer. So I turned down the jerk and acceleration to I think from 10 to seven or five. Uh, you can check that out. You can look it up on Google. It is pretty easy to change. But another thing is this printer comes with tighteners for the belts. So down here, there's a tightener where you um, unscrew the screws and then pull it really tight and screw them back in and that will tighten your belts and then there's another one over there a little bit and it is a lot smaller but it does the same exact thing with the new tornado or the new TiVo printers just like the tornado and the little Michelangelo back here they all have uh, new tighteners and they are very sturdy they are very strong printers and that is what I like about the new TiVo printers that they have been releasing. So um, I want to show you guys a little bit up closer what these prints look like because I did that in my other videos that I've made for this tornado that have been lost. So I'm going to show you guys what those prints look like up close and then we will talk about how well it prints for the price of this printer. All right, so starting off with the first print that I want to show you guys that has to do with salmon skin is this big little jug, this bottle and cap STL file. So this printed out perfectly. As you can see, is it, it screws on to the lid or to the bottle perfectly. So that is one thing I really like about this printer is it is configured nice and everything fits together that should fit together. Showing you guys the salmon skin. This is salmon skin. So as you can see, there are layers and layers and layers of um, filament, I guess, and uh, that doesn't look the greatest on prints, so that is what the tail smoothers do, is get rid of this effect on the prints, but uh, this print was printed without the tail smoothers, and then after that, I decided to uh, put in my tail smoothers after I ordered them when this printer was getting shipped to me. Next is the make a coin. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on these purple prints because they are in my PLA, my purple PLA filament review, which you guys can check out on my channel. But the first layer did great. Now this, keep in mind, was printed on the original uh, build tack surface of this printer. So it is actually pretty smooth and um, overhangs it pretty well. And then these curves, it's super nice. So one other example of salmon skin is this right here. You can kind of see it. It's barely there, but there was some effect on these rounder points, as you can see there. Kind of looks like ghosting, but it definitely is salmon skin. So looking at the Maker's Muse egg, it turned out pretty nice. Now this is scaled up, I believe, 200%, because if I did it more than that, it would take a long time to print. But it actually printed pretty nicely. The lines are pretty smooth. And uh, other than the separation from the different colors, this is actually a pretty cool print. Even though it doesn't move, I think it looks pretty nice. Maybe put a chocolate egg in it or something, even though it's past Easter. But I really like this print. Again, I got the first layer okay. But for some reason, this print, the first layer was kind of weird. I'm not sure why, but all the other prints, they turned out pretty nice. I don't know if that was the settings or something. As you can kind of see here, there's a little bit of ghosting. Now I have to figure that out and fix that uh, soon, but I really like this print. So talking about these pretty cool rockets. Now these rockets are printed in Esun's Glow in the Dark PLA filament that I did a review on a while back. And this is printed in vase mode. So there are three bottom layers and then it just continues one solid line printing and I think this took about seven hours to print. The tip is super solid. Everything is really nice and uh, besides the cracking because I've been squeezing it a lot, uh, it is a pretty solid print and I really do like this so hopefully I will be printing a lot more of these maybe for my little neighbor kids and uh, yeah. Now going back to this hand, uh, you guys know that I've been printing a couple hands and this filament that I printed this hand in is the uh, litmus green I believe from filamentum that they sent me and I really do like this print 
Now this print was printed with a raft and I really couldn't get the raft off because my settings were wrong and not correct so the raft pieces are still on here which is a downside to this print because this print took about 21 hours to print but I do really like it. The fingers actually didn't turn out the best. There was a lot of layer lines on it so I have those in the shop sanding and being filled and then painted and primed but this is a really nice print. I really like the green color and I really do like how it turned out on this printer. So guys, I know this wasn't the best review for this printer, but this is as good as I could get after already making two super long, actually three super long videos. I'm very sorry for not doing an unboxing, but I did do my best with this printer for the struggles that I have been having with the printer and with my videos. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was a useful video to you and all the information that I gave you. If you know anyone who's interested in a TiVo Tornado, please share this video with them. Let's grow this video. And another big thank you to Yoder for helping me. Um, and then I want you guys to go help Naomi Wu out. So for some reason, she's been having problem with her Patreon account and some other things. I don't remember what they were, but she has stopped filming for 3D printing on her YouTube channel. So please go share her some love and let her know that I sent you. She's helped me so much with this printer or getting this printer and um, helping me trying to get reviews for printers. So go help her out, go show her some love. She really deserves it. And she's given me shout outs on her channel which have brought most of you guys over here. So a big thank you for coming from her channel. And if you didn't come from her channel, thank you for subscribing. I really do appreciate it and I'm glad to have each and every one of you here. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye.